So the Nelt boys are in a lot of controversy because they did this prank uh, with one of their friends where they had a girl put a banana down her pants and made the guy think that it was a guy while they were making out. And it was this prank. And there's a lot of controversy. Some people are saying that this was wrong to do on the guy friend. Some people are saying that it's a very transphobic joke. Anyway, here are my thoughts. So to clarify, I'm not a big Nelk Boys fan. I used to be a big fan of them when I was like 18, 19. That was back in 2020. I really love them. I thought they were funny. I think Steve will do it was by far the funniest of them all. But then over time, I've stopped because, you know, I I think post 2021, I've been sobering up. I've been I've been living that sober lifestyle that I used to think was BS. I used to think that drinking was this cool thing. But as the older I've gone, the more I've been like, hey, drinking just isn't for me. Then I found that most of the pranks or they didn't really do pranks much anymore. It felt like they were just doing college campus drinking. Oh, my God, guys, we got these virgins. Let's have them drink for the first time. It was like it, it kind of got stale to me. So I didn't like it. So anyways, to clarify what's going on, it's the Twitter is getting upset. A lot of people are getting upset. I probably have a hot take. I'm going to be honest. I probably have a hot take. But what essentially has happened is so Nelk did this prank where they had a girl put a banana in her pants and pretend to be. A girl with a dick uh, a transgender and the guy that they pranked i assume is their friend didn't like that and he was a little frustrated now in the video honestly he has like a calm type of anger because i feel like honestly in in real world scenarios i feel like this honestly could could genuinely have gone violent if this was a different person i genuinely think this this could have gone violent um but I'm going to say it right now. This prank is obviously fake. Nelk does fake pranks. It's not denied. I don't think all their pranks are fake, but I think there's a decent amount of them that are fake. I remember back in 2020, they had this whole hoax where there's this guy who beat them up or something like that. He was beating up Kyle and it was found out that this guy was an actor. And, and it, you know, it's, you know, I, I, and even Bradley Martin's talked about how the pranks aren't really real most of the time. However, let's kind of go into it as if it's real. So there's people that are upset because this kind of stuff has gone trans people in, in trouble. Now, my thoughts when it comes to trans people is, hey, do whatever you got to do. If you're an adult, you make your own decisions. If you want to be a guy, girl, I don't care. Do whatever it is you, you do and be comfortable with yourself. I, I really don't care. Like Honestly, I think that's a mentality most people should have just don't care because i know right now the trans topic is the big thing you know whether you're on fox news or on you're on youtube wherever you are it's always like trans people are the trans people are that i feel like this shouldn't even be as big of a situation as some people have made it out to be like some people have now made careers out of talking about trans people but the bottom line as to why most people are frustrated is this kind of stuff has gone trans people killed there's times where Someone who's trans is maybe making out with someone or they're on a date with someone. And then, you know, it gets violent because obviously some people, um, you know, the people who are straight, they don't like knowing that they just did something to someone who used to be a guy, or used to be a girl, whatever. Obviously, and especially if they still have their penis intact. Like if you're a straight guy, that's going to upset you. Like I'm going to be honest, I'm never I'm never going to date a trans person, not because I'm transphobic or anything, just because to me I'm straight. I'm a straight person. I want to straight. I want. I want to. I want to date and marry uh, biological women. That might be a hot take. Don't care. That's just my take. All right. I, I want to date someone who's been a girl since the beginning of their life. Like I, I don't care if that comes off as controversial. It's. It shouldn't even be called transphobic. But I feel like some people are gonna consider it to be transphobic. But Nelk's always gone beyond, like edgy jokes like there was a joke and it's weird and i'm just gonna say this as a hispanic person i find this concerning a couple years ago they did a joke on immigrants where they they, they were like they're like you guys want some ice like they were like yelling ice ice and to some immigrants in la and if you know california there's a bunch of immigrants there all right there's a bunch of no no papers looking immigrants no green card whatever no u.s citizenship whatever kind of immigrants in california and no one got upset at that. I think the only person who got upset was H3H3. But now with the trans stuff, it's like, it's completely different. It's like de deporting immigrants is not seen as bad. Look, to me, when it comes to pranks, it's as long as you're not harassing a person. In this prank, and the reason why 
I, I don't find it upsetting at all is the guy seemed like he was just like, oh, okay, oh, whatever. And first of all, if you're friends with the Nelk boys, you should know that there's going to be a prank like this. They do pranks like this, whether it's a guy that's a virgin, whether they're talking with Andrew Tate, like whoever it is, they're always going to go to these far beyond jokes. And this joke just didn't seem that bad. It was just a girl that put a banana in her pants. And also, by the way, can I say this right now? Where were you guys when the Daily Dropout did this prank with one of their with one of their main leads, one of the girls having a banana, and it was like she would get their numbers and then she would like take off her jacket and you'd see like a bulge in her shorts. Like, where was the controversy there? This used to be like a normal prank, like the prank of a girl with the penis. That's always been a big or not big, but pause. But that's always been somewhat of a prank that people have done. It's never been the big thing. Man, I'm really saying things poorly right now. But it's always been something that's always loomed. Like, people have done that joke so many times. No, because in the first one. I guess the only difference you could say is in this one, they made out. But it's like, even then, it's like, it was a girl. At the end of the day, all that happened was that, that the guy that pranked was upset. And that was it. That was it. Nothing happened. You know? Um... And ultimately, I just don't find much of an issue with the prank, really. Uh, re realistically, right now, the topic on trans people is at its all-time high when it comes to how sensitive people are to it. Whether you're someone who hates trans people or you love trans people, right now, that conversation is just like, anytime you bring it up, it's just like, it's the the crazy thing. Like that's, I try to not bring it up on my channel because I... I just hate the conversations around it and I hate how divisive any single thing you can say uh, now is just like it, you upset so many people even if it's such a cold take to say or something you just don't believe in that much and that's the thing that upsets me. Uh, and this Nelk prank really isn't anything big. I've seen harsher pranks. Not only that, but Nelk does fake pranks. Like, it's like, it's almost like, eh, I don't really care. You know, no one got harmed in this prank. The guy at the end of the day got to kiss a hot girl. The girl is in trance. So, <laughs> I, I don't really see um, the, the reason to get upset. But ultimately, I think, honestly, that's the thing on Twitter. I've seen that people get paid on Twitter now, if you get Twitter blue. Um... Although it would depend on impressions. I honestly think that's a bad idea. I know that's a completely different conversation. But I do not think you should incentivize. I guess in a business reason you should. But I really think that Twitter has damaged society. I'm being honest right now. I think Twitter and the way people treat Twitter is a different level of crazy. And I feel like because the impressions and because you want to look cool and virtuous. I, I feel like. Twitter is almost now that scapegoat to use. Um, and because of that, it's caused a lot of people to overreact to things that don't need overreacting. It's caused people to think of things when they shouldn't think of it. You know? And, and I don't know. To me, this is another example. This, If this was a prank in 2018, 2019, 2020, it wouldn't have been seen as a big deal. You know? But I don't know. I, I just didn't see much of an issue with the prank. Uh, seems like a harmless joke. I know trans people have gone in trouble uh, in scenarios like this, but ultimately this wasn't that. It was just a silly little joke they made. And I know people are going to get upset when I say this, but to me, I think you should be able to make jokes about anything. As long as you're not being harmful and what is your intention, at the end of the day, I don't think... Because at the end of the day, jokes are laughing at us as people jokes are about laughing at us as people whether you're making a slightly racist joke or a little homophobic joke or whatever i actually and i'll say this right now fun fact a couple couple uh days ago i got a message from this person i'm not going to say their names but if you've been around my channel you would know who they are that's why i, I don't want to say their names but they messaged me on twitter um and I, I, I have make like my vlogs on my second channel. Vlog is in the second channel. It's called Dunda Vlogs. Please go support it. Love making the content there. I even, I honestly would say that the content there is better than the one here. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm in, in those vlogs, I kind of have a, I, 
I just have fun with my friends and I just record it. I don't script anything. I don't change anything. I'm just, I just record whatever it is that we usually do and then edit it and make it into a video. So in, in the video, I, I make some sus jokes. Like I'll be, I'll call my friend Zesty, I'll call them sus and I'd be like, nah, this bro's gay. I think there was a moment in one of my vlogs that I, that I make a joke like that. And this person messaged me upset being like zesty and sus are homophobic slurs and i'm like no they fucking ain't okay it's a joke amongst friends we're joking it's like hey we're all straight so we make jokes that you're potentially it's just a silly joke all right like stop getting upset the word zesty and the word sus are not homophobic and if you think they're homophobic then all i gotta tell you is get off twitter all right there's bigger issues out there in the world in the real world okay I guarantee you, go work at a job at a construction site. No one's going to give a fuck about what it is you're saying, all right? But I, I, that was too much of a... That's a completely different... I know, I hit something over there. But it's a completely different story from what we're talking about. Overall, I just don't care. I don't see it's a big deal. I don't know. Maybe y'all are going to disagree. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm willing to change my mind, but I just don't see why people would get so upset at a silly little joke like this especially when nelk has done far more edgy jokes like this is really a low-end joke for for nelk um i didn't really find it funny i'm also going to establish that i didn't really find the, the, the joke funny but again you know humor is subjective you know comedy is subjective some people are going to find this funny some people are not um it is what it is anyways that's all i gotta say thank you guys for watching this video y'all me know in the comments what you think subscribe to the second channel doing the vlogs me it'll mean a lot um we on we're on a road to 200 subscribers on that channel we're on the road for 2k subscribers on this channel it would mean a lot help support a lot i mean again i'm willing to change my mind you just have to conversate with me in the comments i'm always I, I i would like to say i'm not a cocky person but one thing i will say is that i'm I do like, I, I feel like one of my strengths is usually I'm willing to listen to people. I'm willing to listen to different perspectives. I'm willing to just be open-minded. And I feel like that's something that's really helped me a lot. Um, navigating this YouTube journey. But anyways, that's all I gotta say. Stay sober, stay sexy, and living in now. Ciao.